Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Peter with pdesignworks.com. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create an headphone vector illustration using Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so as not to miss any future updates. Let's get right into it. The first thing we'll do is click on this create new button to create a new artboard. So we'll be using 1920 by 1080 pixel of the artboard size. So you click on create. Okay. So now the first thing we'll check is to check if the smart guide and the snap to pixel is clicked. So they are clicked. So we can move on. So now we bring in our image. So my image is on my desktop. So wherever your image is, just bring it in like this. Scale down. So then we'll lock the layer so you can't be able to draw there like this. So next we'll create another layer. So this we name it lines. This is where we'll draw our lines. Like that. So for the drawing, we'll be using the stroke. So we'll increase our stroke weight to four. So the, we'll keep on changing it as we continue drawing. But we'll start with four. Four is the main stroke. So you click on your pen tool and then you start drawing. So you, you remove the fill. So we'll work on the stroke for now. So I'm going to speed it up so I won't waste your time. So we'll draw the first left side, so we'll draw the right side as well. Let's go. So you see that nobody about crossing the other parts. So that is still another thing we have to look at. When drawing lines, you should make sure there are no space just because of the coloring. So it's very important there are no spaces, so that's why they have to cross on each other. So you see what I'm talking about when we get to coloring. So just watch as I do it. Now you see as I cross this one, instead of stopping here, I pass the line. So that's how all your drawing should be. So we'll, let, we'll cut off this part like this. So all you do is just select, use the shape builder tool and remove the parts so that there will be not be any space in between. So we'll continue. So we'll remove this unnecessary part. Shape it out to alt like that. So now we we'll use circles here. Ellipse too. So reduce it to two weights. Okay. Second one. Then we'll draw this. Okay, you can check. See what we have already. Let's go on. This is the way to one. Let's draw this.
let's remove the unwanted parts. Check what we have. It's coming around nicely. Okay, so let's continue. This is the two stroke. Change this to this. Think we are good to go to the coloring now. I think this is all for the shading. So as you can see that the outside strokes are thicker strokes while the inside ones are lighter. So that's it. Oh there's still one here. Okay, so now to the coloring part. So the first thing we'll do is to create the colors we want to use. So create another layer, bring it on top of the template. So I'll be using red, change to fill. So I'll be using this red. So there's a tool I want to use here, it's called the blend tool. So I'll be using it to create a palette of colors. So like the range of colors I'll be using. So let's, let me bring it out like this. So take it to the dark one like this. So this blend tool now will it will bring a, a defined set of colors in between these two. So let, let me show you. Just select the tool, go to object, go to blend tool, blend options. So go to specified steps. So I want five different colors in between this. Click OK, object blend and make or you just simply click alt ctrl b and it brings the five different colors in between it so these are the colors we'll be using 
so but we won't use everything just use like four like three or four from there so this is it so now the first thing we'll do is expand this expand appearance object expand and then pathfinder tool and we'll merge it so, so that it will be one shape like this so then we'll now duplicate it by dragging it down here so we have one copy here and we lock it so this is the one we'll be working with so with this one now this is the main color so we'll create a rectangle at the back so this is the like base color of it like this so you arrange send to back and then select everything pathfinder and then merge then you right click and you isolate so now we can start deleting and changing color so you start with deleting the background like this so now coloring is a bit easier now with this so all we need to do is just come here to select the color we need to select so let's say now i want to change this color i'll just come here use my eyedropper to color this side like this so same with this use this Use this color this use this color same with this like this so that's how all you just be doing to color it Okay. So any color you want to choose from here, just come here like this. Like this and you press escape to view it. So this is it's getting along fine. So now we can add a little bit of more shadows. So let's create another layer and call it shadows. That should be in different layers. Shadow still under this. So pen tool. Select the color first. This will be our shadow. I think this is better. To get our highlights, all we need to do is select this color. So this is the color of our highlights. Then we just get a very light color of it. So shadow.
Okay. We are done. So if you have any question, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you don't want to miss more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell as well. Thank you.